Hello and welcome to another video in our little series on tips, tricks, and gadgets. Today we're going to talk about lab stands. So lab stands are uh, inexpensive. This came as a, a set from Amazon for about 30 bucks. It comes with a retort ring and a barrette clamp. And I use lab stands like an extra set of hands. They're, they're wonderful in all types of uh, instances where you wish you had somebody to help you hold something uh, and don't. Uh, they're also super convenient for using as percolation stands. So, you know, you have uh, a percolation cone, which is normally cut from a, a wine bottle, glass bottle. Sometimes they're blown. And uh, the idea is you put your plant material in here and then it drips out to concentrated tincture. Um, you can build uh, these uh, cute wooden frames by just cutting a, a circle big enough for the top uh, to fit through in the top and then a smaller one in the bottom. And then, uh, like, that's cool, but they get stained up because your tincture is going to leak uh, and it's kind of a, a one-purpose uh, uh, tool. And uh, you can get the same effect from a lab stand which has multiple purposes. So to use a lab stand as a, a, a perk stand, all you do is uh, take a retort ring to hold the base of the bottle, or the neck of the bottle, and then uh, take a barrette clamp. And uh, at its most open, it just barely fits around the base of a liter and a half wine bottle, which is my preferred way to uh, my preferred percolation comb. So you can take your cone, throw it in the bottle, do a little adjusting on your barrette clamp to get it to uh, level and where you want. Little tightening up. Oh. And now that's not going anywhere. That's a good solid uh, stand uh, and uh, uh, replaces the need for a custom built stand. I also, you can use a jar. That's what a lot of people do. They might just uh, take the jar that they're going to be dripping uh, their percolation into and just kind of set that in it. Uh, but then once again, you're like, uh, probably not going to tip over, but if it got bumped, it might. Uh, and then you can put like a rubber band around it to make it a little bit more steady. But honestly, for $30, an extra set of hands uh, is uh, very handy for doing percolations. What else can you use a, a lab stand for as an extra set of hands? Uh, one thing that I frequently use it for is in straining. So you've got like a good bouillon strainer, any type of strainer, and uh, you're pouring your herbs in. You're normally two-handed, and then it starts to fill up, and then it's not really draining because it's soaking, and it's rolling around all over the place as you get different herbs, and maybe you're using a pestle to try to press more liquid out. To, you can pretty easily just use... Use a barrette clamp as a, a way to tighten that down. As a way to steady the end of something, so it's not going to shift around, or you can even. everything to kind of lift it up. So uh, extra set of hands, now you can use both hands to pour, to strain, to you know work the edges and keep it from getting all gunked up so it continues to filter out. Uh, you can use it as a, uh, a percolation cone stand. And then if you're going to use glassware, uh, it's essential to have a couple of lab stands to hold uh, all of the pieces of your glassware so that they don't risk coming apart and breaking. Uh, um, so for $30, uh, I think they're really easy and uh, have a, a wide range of uses 
Uh, and I encourage you, if you're going to be making a lot of medicine, to play around with uh, some laboratory equipment. To, there's different types of um, there's different types of barrette clamps. Uh, this triple clamp is uh, uh, a little bit more tight uh, than uh, the other clamp. Uh, it's an add-on. It doesn't come with the kit. To, um, and there's a lot of additional pieces. You can put uh, bars between and hang clamps off uh, for glassware setups. You might have seen that in our vacuum distillation video. Um, so lots of things that you can do with them. S start playing with them, and I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Mm -hmm.